What up, Heart Squad? There's new Pokeball tins in stores, and today we're opening up an entire case of them. Specifically, the Dusk Ball was introduced last week, and I'm like, we gotta open up not just one tin, but an entire case of tins, which features, and I believe it features every single tin that has ever been released for the Pokeball tin line. So I will put these gently on screen before they fall all over the place. That looks kind of cool. And I have a big announcement for this Saturday's video that's gonna make you want to stick around, I promise you. Once again, we are going gold star searching for this guy. The gold star Rayquaza, a Pokemon card worth up to $20,000. And these packs will be opened in several other surprises this Saturday. You know the time, 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and you can't forget that 12 noon mountain time for you mountaineers out there. Not to confuse with the West Virginia mountaineers, I believe, but anyway, <clears throat> Getting ready, we got my lovely Natu How Do You Do shirt on. And uh, let's take a look. Let me move these just to the side. Here is the new Pokeball tip. A Dusk Ball. Now, I try to be as familiar with the tins as much as I can, but sometimes, you know, there's some that just you don't use too often. This one I would say a lot of people use, even as recent as the most Recent Pokemon game, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I believe Marnie, Piers, uh, several Pokemon trainers like the model trainer, the railroad manager guy, they all use Dusk Balls to keep their Pokemon in. What is a Dusk Ball, you ask? Well, it was originally released uh, and introduced in Generation 4, and you specifically use them at night or in certain places that are dark like caves. So if you like Zubats, this would be the ball for you. It looks really cool. Comparing it to just an original Pokeball, the colors on it are really, really different because I believe it may be, it may be like the first time that the actual button on the ball is orange. This one is red, I'm just showcasing it compared to the black, which is on the usual normal one. Otherwise, you're seeing the design on it. Really, really cool. It's a bit darker, you know, pun intended for it being the dusk ball for being at night. It is $12.99 like all of these were. They will all be opened. Let me make sure I don't have these Deoxys packs. And uh, of course, Lisa the Letter Opener. Where are these? So we're gonna use Lisa the Letter Opener as uh, at this time if you can to help support the video guys if you haven't already considered subscribing to the channel please do consider subscribing and hit the thumbs up button let's get this video to 8,000 likes heart squad i appreciate the support as always i have tried to go big with every single one of my videos for who knows how long now because we are on the hashtag road to a million you have to say it that way every single time oh that's what it looks like oh that's really neat wait it's and it's not completely, oh, that's killing me. Why is it not centered perfectly? Ah, this quality, quality material. All right, let's, I'm, I'm excited to see the packs that are on the inside because some of them, which we're gonna open all of them to compare the packs on the inside, uh, had burning shadows on the inside. But it leads me to the question of the day. After watching this video, let me know your favorite Pokeball from today's opening. Here we go. Of course, there would be an evolutions pack for me. Oh, there is. Look at this terrible packness. Jeez. Crimson Invasion with a Kartana. Na, na, na. Everybody's favorite set. And there is a very nice Burning Shadow. So these are kind of hot sets. Like this has always been a hot set because of the Charizard. Uh, Charizard. <laughs> A buzzwall for Crimson Invasion? <laughs> it's not a hot set. That's as cool as a river. All right, an Alolan Raichu. Actually, that may just be Raichu Felonius striking one of his famous poses for us. Very cool coin, I'm eager to compare. So, uh, so there we go. I'm trying to get, this is just not gonna get centered. Oh, that's terrible. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. So let's get into the first round of packs. <laughs> God, keep on moving the whole, the whole case. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, my name is Leonhardt. I do Pokemon card openings, the absolute craziest Pokemon card openings you will ever see. 
gets the energy psychic. Well, there it goes. Our first patented trademark guess the energy of the day. I say Kakuna, you say Matata. Skidoo Malumad. What? How does that happen? Those two Skidoos, my Luz, my darlings, the Miss Magikarp Army. Creepy Cacturn. See, that's Crimson Invasion, everybody. But now it's time for Evolutions. I am pumped. Obviously, we want to get Charizard reversed. Charizard Hollow, or of course the full art Charizard. No guess the energy. I stopped myself there. I know y'all were like, Leonhard, don't go for four cards. It's a trap switch. Cuffy, Growlithe, Nidoran Mail, Vulpix, Sandy, Ponyta, Tangula, a Mega Blastoise EX. I actually think this may be worth something. There we go, a Mega Blastoise EX. I'll take it. Usually the pulls from the Pokeball tins are terrible, but in this case, we have done fairly well. It's time to get a It's Your Boy Guzma. And of course, the guess the energy, Fairy Energy. Rest in peace, Fairy Energy. Hey, it's your boy, Guzma, Rabombi, Curlia, Cutifly, Riolu, Grimer, Noibat, Horsey, Electivire is a reverse rare, and an Alolan Raticate with cheese in his mouth. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Dusk Ball, the newest Pokeball tin. Next up, let's go with the second to most recent one. That would be the Dive Ball. Now, I'm gonna let you do a little thinking and to let me know what you think the Dive Ball is actually used for. That was enough time, because if you don't know, I suggest walking outright, whoa, just pop open. Jeez, okay. I, I really wanted to get this off just so I can showcase awkwardness aside. All right, so here we go. Here we go, professional Pokemon opener. This, this is legit. Yeah, I like this one better than the uh, the other one. Uh, Lucario coin. I like, of course, Raichu Felonius better, but you know, pick and choose. Lost Thunder. We are going. Not who, how do you do searching today? I don't care about any other card from that set. It's all about the Natu and the Guess the Energy. Fighting Energy, I just want to say, please leave your daily Leonhardt comment saying, please, Leonhardt, say dark, say metal energy for the Guess the Energy. This is your daily video reminder. Chikorita, hey Natu, how do you do? Lovely. I mean, it, could, it couldn't have been perfect. More perfect. Mumu Milk in a Lapras. We have won the day, because on this day we shall fight for our right to pull more Natus, so we can say, how do you deuce? Three cards, I know, I know, you can stop shouting at me, I know, no guess the energy for evolutions, switch, Machoke, can't forget about that rat, Caterpie, Magnemite, Voltorb, Sandy, and, oh, I thought it was a Charizard for a sec but I like Arcanine at the same time, so I will take it. Next up, Necrozma Packheart with some Burning Shadows. If you missed the video from two days ago, and of course it will be right over here and on the front page of my channel, I opened up over a booster box of Hidden Fates, Leaf Energy, and the Charizards. Just Charizards in general are going absolutely crazy in value, and I am hoping my one that was lost in the mail eventually gets found. Panseer and a Mudsdale, non-holographic. Then we have the Premier Ball. Actually, probably the most sleek of the Pokeball tins that have come out, so very happy about this one in general. Whoa, I gotta, I gotta be careful. Who knew opening up Pokemon card speed could be such a dangerous thing? All right, so I'll toss this to the side and uh, let's see the packs on the inside. And uh, we got some terrible ones again. Crimson Invasion, otherwise they're all... I wanna get Crimson Invasion. Oh, it's the best card from the set. And those pads of Buzzwall. Just look at them and admire. All right, four cards, guess the energy, metal energy. I did take a look at the comments just now and I did see your comment, Pete, that said, 
please say Metal Energy. Houndor, Ghastly, Starmie, Type Null, Holographic. I may have pulled a Type Null shiny Pokemon in that Hidden Fates opening from two days ago. It was uh, a lot of fun to open up those Hidden Fates packs. And uh, if you missed that video, it's, you know, go check it out. It was a lot of fun fighting energy. I will be doing more Hidden Fates openings uh, because they are just lots of fun. Hoodie and the Blowfish, Porygon, Morlul, Dusk Nor, Off Center, Beyond Off Center, uh, Reverse Rare, and Tangrowth, Non Holographic. All right, it's time for more evolutions. Evolutions, I believe, is like the most highest grossing Pokemon card set of all time in history, but at the same time, yeah, I caught myself there. <laughs> oh, secret rare! We're going surfing, surfing in Misty, Porygon, aside, Fairy, rest in peace, Fairy Energy, Voltorb, Tangula, Sandy, Mewtwo, non holographic. It's very nostalgic to see that. Next up, I believe it was at the same time they released the Ultra Ball and Quick Ball. Um, so we'll get to the Quick Ball portion of this test as soon as Leonhardt remembers how to... See, that's Lisa at Leonard Opener. Just so good. Just, just knows her stuff to help us move this opening along. All right, putting that over there. So here is... The Ultra Ball. It's actually very sleek as well. I really do like this one a lot. Better than the Quick Ball. But let's check out what's on the inside. No, more Crimson Invasion. And then, of course, Raichu Felonius. I do wonder if these... Because uh, they don't just release the Dusk Ball in a case, like all Dusk Balls. They do come with the other tins that were previously released. So I wonder if it's not just overstock for the older tins that they include. I wonder, wait, what is this? Evolutions? I wonder, okay, I'll stop saying that. I wonder if the these these tins are just restock tins. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. They probably are. Nidorino, Super Potion, Brock's Grit, but Evolutions, as I was saying before, <laughs> Evolutions is one of the most printed sets of all time, if not the most printed set back in 2016. That's why there is so much excess evolutions out there. Full heal and a chancy! Well, this is a perfect time to let y'all know the official grade for that first edition chancy that I pulled two weeks ago from a heavy first edition base set pack will be revealed this Sunday. You heard that right. Official prediction video and results video. The same video, I know it's crazy, will be happening this Sunday. If it comes back a Beckett BGS 10 pristine, above gem mint, mind you, it will be the first ever in history, and I can only imagine how much that card would be worth. And it would look beautiful. The label would still be gold, unless you get a black label, but there's no chance mine would get a black label. Everything else, I believe, was perfect. Surface, corners, whitening, uh, centering was a, just a tad off. And I mean a tad. Lightning energy, it would be funny though, I bet you Beckett's still gonna give it like a nine for centering because they are terrible at putting centering down for a card. It's ridiculous, but what can you do? Aaron Gasly, Miss Regice. Wow, this is actually a nice looking card for Crimson Invasion. I'll take it. Put that in my uh, water on the rocks later. So Burning Shadows, never get anything good from these single packs, but I'll put my call in if we can pull a Charizard. <laughs> I can hope. I can dream. Dark energy. I saw your comment, Pokemaster43, telling me to say... Metapod, doing something to a tree. Telling me to say dark energy. Broccoli, a teddy bear, Meowth and Grease, Cribrawler, and a Raquinid from Starship Troopers. And next up, read all about it. There's the Quick Ball. So we are going to move in a quick, hastily fashion through, as I, Lisa doesn't do the best job for this one, I apologize. Sometimes, you know, peer pressure just gets to it. All right, uh, let me see. Oh, okay. My unwrapping skills are fantastic for holidays such as Hanukkah and Christmas. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Oh my gosh, it's another Crimson Invasion. 
And Raichu Felonius. I will take as many Raichu Felonius coins as you would like to give me. These are all mashed up. All the packs are always mashed up. But feel free, remember, question of the day. Let me know in the comment section below which Pokeball tin is your favorite from today's opening. Machoke, Super Potion. Charizard, is that a sign? It must be. This is a sign. Magnemite, Energy, that's not a sign. That's quite the opposite. Machop, Drowsy, Beedrill. I say, Beedrill, you say. Doesn't work like that. All right, Gus Lord and Crimson Invasion, what you got for us today? Fairy Energy, rest in peace, Fairy Energy. Psychic Memory, Windows 95. I say, Kakuna. You say, Natu, how do you do? Swablu, why is it so surprised? Swinub, Jiggly. That's actually a pretty cool looking card. Crimson Invasion does have some nice and... Did have some nice and commons. There's a reverse. Nice. And the miss. Magic. And here we go. I am, uh, I unfortunately lost my call in the previous Pokeball tin. So there's that. Uh, let's see, we still have another tin after this. I'll say Psychic Energy. Yes! Rats on the back! There we go, Rebombi! Solrock, Escape Rope, Esper, Broccoli, Panpour, Kamehameha, Rattata, and a Mushroom. But this is a Reverse Rare, so not too bad. Nothing to go crazy about. Last but not least, we have the original. The, wait, is that, is that printed it wrong? What's inside here? Pokeball! Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's just because it's wrinkled. I don't think it would actually be like that. But uh, you can get these Pokeball tins uh, in stores. Uh, I believe the official release date was July 3rd, but things have been all wonky with how stuff is put out. So you may not find it right away, but it will. There's just something iconic about the original Pokeball design. It's just beautiful. It'll be even more beautiful without Crimson Invasion. Nope, there's gotta be, but of course, Raichu Felonius has made, you have to say it like this, Raichu Felonius has made his appearance, you have to have big neck. All right, evolutions, we'll, we'll stop the shenanigans to get right to pulling a Charizard. There's the code, three cards, and a Charizard we go. Devolution Spray is a rare, unfortunately, in the original base set packs. Staryu, Tangula, ooh, reverse, shiny electrode, and a dugong, and a dugong. All right, Crimson Invasion. We still haven't gotten the famous bus wool card in its packs of wonder. Uh, I'll say fairy energy. We have gotten the gassy energy, so I am very, very proud and happy. Corfish, Ghastly, Houndor, Staryu, pissed off Wiggly. Look at the Weedle in the background. And an Altaria non-holographic. And then there was one. Plus the following. I have some dollar packs and some Shining Legends packs, which I may just get into right after this, since it looks like we have just a wee bit more time. And y'all have been a wee bit happy today. Water energy. Ah, all right, well, one for a billion. Wick from the 60s, Staffel, Noibat, Sock, Esper, Broccoli, and the usual nothing from a Burning Shadows pack. All right, I really want to get into these three Shining Legends packs. Uh, it's really cool because it's awesome to compare uh, Shining Legends to Hidden Fates. Nick, of course, Nick from the channel that we do our charity drive. He had a cool idea, and I'll probably do it in a future video, to do an opening of Shining Legends, which of course has Shining Pokemon on it, compared to Hidden Fates. Now, Shining Legends wasn't even close to as popular as Hidden Fates, but I believe it is still an amazing set and hopefully we get a Mewtwo Laboratory or a Shining Mew in today's opening. Four cards, Psychic Energy, Fairy Energy, rest in peace, Fairy Energy. Double Colorless Energy, Lipard, Pikachu, Torkoal's got the good stuff, he knows. Totodile, Buizel, Plusle, great, and a Palkia Holographic. Now you are guaranteed holographics in every single pack, of Shining Legends as opposed to Hidden Fates. You are not guaranteed a holographic for the rare. Four cards, Leaf Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Incineroar, how you doing? Bulbasaur, Totodile, Shroomish, Ivysaur, Jinx, 
That's creepy. Ultra Ball and Hoop. There it is. Hoopa. It's a holographic, but then again, nothing too special. Shining Genesect. Very cool looking card. Any of the shinies in this set, they really are very cool looking, I have to say. So if we can pull one out of three packs, that's a win. Metal Energy. Okay. Great Ball. How you doing? Switch. Golet. Stunfisk. Quillfish, Shroomish, Scraggy, and a Mewtwo GX. Very, very nice. So that is the pool for that one. Let's get into some of these packs right now. I'm just kidding. That's going to be for sale. I gotcha. What if I just like randomly willy nilly opened up one of those? That would have been terrible. That's going to be for Saturday's video. And of course, the grading results video will be on Sunday. Let's just get into some random, this is a Unified Minds one, but uh, I got like a ton of these, just the extra inventory. Disco Salazzle, Disco Hands, Disco Hands. And uh, just wanna open up a few of them and uh, and then that'll be the it of this. But uh, let me know after subscribing to the channel, hopefully we are on the hashtag road to a million. Hopefully, oh, there we go, Keldeo GX. Very, very nice. I'm always worried that sometimes you're just gonna go on an absolute big cold streak while opening up dollar packs. Sometimes you get some, sometimes you don't. And uh, of course, this would be a lot of sword and shield packs. Great value, Squirtle, how you doing? Missed ya. And uh, if we can get a golden, I think I pulled a gold Zacian, may have been a Zamazenta. E either of the gold cards from sword and shield, I think I pulled one from a Dollar Tree pack. So, my first one actually, I believe it was. I believe I can fly, Pinkerchin. And uh, just a few more, and then we'll move on. And then, heavy Deoxys packs. I'm excited about it because I really do want to just keep on going big for the channel. Uh, of course, I moved to four videos a week, and so I just want to go big and ha just make it a big old party every single video. Victini, holographic, not too bad. And Zashian Gold, put your calls in, guys. Last chance. And nose goes. All right, Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you can, hit the thumbs up button. Click on those videos right now for more videos, if that made sense. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive. Natu, how do you do? And I'll see you, hey, that rhymed, in the next video.